this video, guys, I'm showing you a new Instagram script with Selenium, which is a framework that can automate your browser. And on this case, we are automating Instagram to send comments or to send messages to the people. The most active users are recently posting on Instagram, which means that they are active users because we need active users to get the information and to interact with them and do marketing and sales and everything else. So it's a Python with Selenium script that I will show right now. Here I am on the screen. Let's get straight into it. You can find the link in the description of the GitHub repositories always. And I know that a lot of you guys are really interested about this stuff. So I'll upload more on this channel. It's been like two weeks without uploading. But promise you I will upload more of this kind of stuff on my YouTube channel. So here is the repository. It's an Instagram bot built with Python and Selenium as always. I'm the Python guy. So why not to get back to this? So I'll explain to you right now what this bot can do. So this bot can scrape posts, most recent posts on Instagram, can scrape usernames, can send comments or can send messages. So why not you don't use this bot, all these functions that can be done from a human, why not to just start it on our computer and go do something else? Just start the, the bot and go do a gym, for example, or go work with something else. So I'll show you right now today how to use this bot, the scripts. And also this script need a lot of updates. So uh, you are welcomed if you want to work with it. Here is a GitHub repository, work with it and get sent pull requests. I will always accept them and check them if they are better versions of this. So you are welcomed for that. But today I'll show you how to run it right now. Let's get started without losing more time. Go to a new tab, install Python, Python download. As always, if you don't have Python, I always use, use Python. So you can download Python 3 or more lazy ver latest version or anything you want. It doesn't matter. Let me make this big larger. So uh, after installing Python, you can also download VS Code. VS Code is a code editor that you can use for uh, editing code and running Python and terminal and everything else. So after installing VS Code 2, let's get started and download this code. Click on code. I'll download a zip for the beginners because if I use Git, most of the people are will be confused because they don't know how to do that. So click on download zip is downloading here and it's downloaded. So let's go to the finder and I'll extract this here on downloads. I have Instagram multi feature bot. Just double click if you are on Mac. And I wanted to mention that this bot will also work on Windows and Linux. It'll be almost the same. I will show you the changes that you have to do if you are using Mac or if you are using Windows. So here is the bot. We have all the files and everything here. Now let's open VS Code. VS Code, if you are using VS Code, I always use it. It's easy to use and it's perfect for me. And I'll click on file and open folder. We want to open a new project. So go to downloads and we'll choose Instagram multibot. So, uh, don't save this stuff. And here we go. We have this welcome screen. I will make it large. And here we go. We got this main file, Instagram bot, all the code here. If you want to work with that, we can go here and edit. But here is a run.py main file that we will run. I'll show you how to do it right now. So let's go and open terminal. Click on a terminal here, new terminal. This will open an integrated terminal here below. First, we need to install the requirements. Just type Python 3. So if you are using Python th with Mac, you have to always type Python 3. And also, if you are using Windows, you don't have to type that. And if you are using pip, also pip 3. So here on this case, we'll install the requirements. And to install the requirements, just type pip 3 install dash r requirements.txt. Press enter. This will install the requirements already installed. So the next step is just to run the script and to run the script. Just type Python three run dot py. And we have to type some other uh, options. So we'll make this large and I'll show you right now. So here we got Python three dot py. If you are on Windows, Python run dot py. But if you type dash h, it will show the help. So if you uh, type that and press enter, so here's a command, and I'll show you the help. I'll explain you what I mean by this. So here is to help you with the command. So all the options. We have optional arguments that we can put in a command. And the first one is uh, dash age, help to get help. We have dash A, which means it use multiple accounts. It's like an account manager to, to manage your accounts. 
but I'll show you in a second what I mean by this. So we have dash C to comment. So if we want the bot to comment, we can put dash C. But if we want the bot to send DMs, you can uh, type just dash D. But if you want to do both, you can type both too. So we have dot dash HD, which means is a hashtag. We have to put the hashtag that we want to scrape users from or the posts from. So the most active users and most recent posts uh, photos or posts on Instagram. And also we got a CM. So dash CM is about uh, the put the comment or the message. So if you are sending messages, we will put the message there. If you are sending comments, we will put the comments there. And also, also we have dash del, which is a delay time in number in seconds, delay time in seconds between actions, between each action, between each message, between each comment uh, submit action. So I'll show you how it works right now. So now let's type the command python3 run.py. And for now, we don't need dash a because we don't have an account at the moment. So I'll leave it just uh, empty without dash a. So if you want to comment, first, I'll show you how to do the to send messages. So to send messages, we have here dash D. So we want to send send DMs dash D. And then we have to put the dash HD, which is a hashtag. And to put the hashtag, just type double quotes and put any hashtag you want. I'll just use Albania for now, hashtag, then space. And we want to put the message you want to send to this user. So type dash CM and in double quotes, write your message and message is going to be hello. Uh, how are you? Hello, how are you? Then a uh, space and type dash del, which is a delay time and put a number. So I recommend you to put really good numbers because sometimes uh, Instagram bans you or put your account on limit. And this is why you have to use multiple accounts and also to use delay time, a lot delay time. And usually also I wanted to mention that you have to take care and uh, while using this bot because it can ban you and uh, you don't have to violate the policy of Instagrams using this script. So now delay time is going to be 10 seconds for me. So whatever time you want. Here's the command, but I already forgot to close the double quote here. So make sure to close it. Hello, how are you? Close it dash del and 10 seconds. So press enter, then it is going to ask you for an Instagram username, put your username that you want to use for this uh, bot. So username, username of your Instagram, and also the password of your Instagram, and then just press enter. This will automatically download the web driver, the Chrome driver for your computer, and will go ahead and log in. So it will log in and do the DM stuff. So the first thing is going to the hashtag that we chose, which is Albania. We chose the Albania hashtag. It will open the, the most recent posts, we'll scrape them and we'll go one by one and scrape the usernames for each of them and use these usernames to send messages that we chose before. So the message is hello, how are you? And also we have a delay time between each message. So he's going to send a, a hello, how are you to someone wait for 10 seconds and send another hello, how are you to another one. So right now it's scraping the users. Okay, now it's going to the DM, we'll show this pop up, we'll automatically close it because I made the bot to automatically detect these boxes and close them. We'll type the first username, chat and type the message and wait for, for 10 seconds that we choose on a delay time. So it's going to wait for 10 seconds and right now it should go to the next one. So yep, it's going to the next one and we'll choose it, chat and I'm not doing anything. As you can see, it's doing all the job you can just lay down and wait for the job of the bot to finish. So here is how it works. I will close it right now because I will show you the other command. Okay, we close it and to stop it, it will automatically stop or you can just type control and C on the terminal. But now I'll show you the second uh, thing. Okay, so first let's go to uh, python3 run.py and I'll show you how to comment now. Uh, but also I'll add a which is the manager of account, you can manage the accounts and you can add more accounts if you want, uh, or choose what account you want to want to do. So dash a, and now we want to uh, not to send messages, but we want to comment. So dash c to comment, then dash ht for the hashtag, and I want the same hashtag or whatever hashtag you want, uh, Albania, and then put cm for the comment or the message. 
So we have to put here whatever you want. Nice post, nice post. And then what I want to do is to put a delay time. So dash del and I'll do about uh, 10 seconds again. So now we, let me tap, we also added the account manager here on dash A. So here we got the command python3 run.py dash A for account dash C for the common dash HT for Albania hashtag dash CM for the nice post, which is the comment that we want to do. And we have a uh, dash del for the delay time. We press enter, we'll open the account manager. So we have one account, top notch programmer, you can choose all that, but you have multiple accounts, you can choose the number of account you want. So we press enter, then it will start again, we will log in, and it will go to the post and comment one by one and wait a 10 second delay time between each of them. So here we go, let's see how it works. Okay, we got the post, as you can see, it's 55 seconds ago, and we go, we wait for, we send a comment, here we go, we got this nice post, and it's going to go to the next uh, post and do all the job for us. Okay, guys, this is how the bot works, this is how you can run it, you can add, you can do more actions, you can just edit the code if you want, if you are a developer, or you can just use it to send comments and DMs automatically without doing anything yourself, just running in your computer and don't losing time. So this is how it works. Hope you like this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. More videos like this will be on this channel in the future. So make sure to subscribe if you are interested about this type of content. See you in the next videos. Peace.